deduction of deduction of Newton's law of gravitation Newton's law of gravitation deduction of Newton's law of gravitation using Kepler's third law Kepler's third law of planetary motion Kepler's third law of planetary motion in diagram m is the mass of sun and this is the elliptical orbit of revolution of uh, planet around sun and this is the planet of mass small m this is the planet of mass small m which revolves around sun in this uh, elliptical orbit or uh, almost circular orbit v0 is the orbital velocity along the tangent v is orbital velocity and uh, r is the mean distance of planet from sun and planet revolves in anti-clockwise direction in this case and uh, centripetal force fc uh, centripetal force fc acts radially in inwards uh, centripetal force fc is acted radially inwards fc is the centripetal force and due to application of this centripetal force the planet revolves anti-clockwise in horizontal cir almost circular orbit or elliptical orbit in that case in that case angular velocity omega uh, will be acting vertically upwards in vertically upward direction when a planet when a planet of mass small m revolves revolves around the sun around sun of mass capital m of mass capital m in nearly a circular orbit nearly a circular orbit or elliptical orbit in this case it should be sun of mass capital m which is not written so sun of mass capital m in a in a nearly circular orbit or elliptical orbit with the orbital velocity v0 and angular velocity and angular velocity omega then the centripetal force centripetal force acting on the planet the centripetal force acting on the planet uh, is given by for its revolution the centripetal force acting on the planet for its revolution or for its circular motion around the sun is fc equal around the sun is fc equal m v square by r mass into square of uh, orbital velocity divided by mean distance r or radius of the circular orbit m by r in place of v what we can write omega into r omega is the angular velocity m omega square r since omega equal to 2 pi by t and t is a time period of revolution time period of revolution of the planet around the sun t is the time period of revolution in that case what we can write f small m 2 pi by capital T whole square into small r therefore fc equal 4 pi square small m divided by t square divided by t square dot r fc equal 4 pi square m divided by t square into r which is equation 1 according to kepler's third law according to kepler's third law of planetary motion planetary motion t square square of time period proportional r cube therefore t square equal k r cube where k is the constant of proportionality t square equal k r cube which is equation 2 
वेर आर इज द मीन डिस्टेंस आर इज द मीन डिस्टेंस ऑफ द प्लैनेट मीन डिस्टेंस ऑफ द प्लैनेट फ्रॉम द सन एंड के इज द कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनलिटी कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनलिटी using equation 2 in 1 using equation 2 in 1 equation 2 in equation 1 we get fc equal 4 pi square m divided by kr cube dot r fc equal 4 pi square m divided by k dot 1 by r square or fc equal 4 pi square by k bracket closed dot small m by r square which is equation 3 fc equal 4 pi square by k dot m by r square equation 3 this centripetal force this centripetal force fc is provided by the gravitational pull is provided by the gravitational pull or gravitational force of attraction gravitational force of attraction experienced by the planet due to sun force of attraction on the planet exerted by the sun exerted by the sun and here uh, gravitational force of attraction is fd therefore if fg equal fc fg equal fc in diagram centripetal force fc is uh, equal to fg that means centripetal force fc is provided by the gravitational force fg gravitational force fg is the force of attraction experienced by planet of mass m due to sun which acts radially inwards and uh, this gravitational force fc provides the necessary centripetal force fc equal 4 pi square by k dot m r square m by r square therefore fg equal mg proportional m by r square because force 4 pi square by k is constant as as the gravitational as the gravitational pull mg is directly proportional to is directly proportional to is directly proportional to mg proportional m by r square and also mg proportional 1 by r square as the gravitational pull as the gravitational pull of pull fg is directly proportional to the mass of the planet m it should also be proportional it should also be proportional to the mass of the sun it should also be proportional to the mass of the other body means the mass of the sun as the gravitational force of attraction is mutual gravitational attraction between the planet and the sun as the gravitational attraction between the sun and the planet is mutual that's why uh, this gravitational force uh, will be proportional to the mass of uh, the sun also that is gravitational attraction between the sun and planet is mutual therefore fg proportional capital capital m also where m is the mass of sun again fg proportional small m by r square so simultaneously we can write fg proportional 
mg proportional capital m small m divided by r square gravitational force of attraction mg is proportional to product of the masses of sun and planet and inversely proportional to square of distance which is the newton's law of gravitation 